to SourceFed. I'm Lee Newton. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. If you're in the U.S. military and feeling down in the dumps, no worries. Literally. Because the U.S. military has awarded a scientist at the Indiana State University of Medicine $3 million to develop a nasal spray that eclipses suicidal thoughts. Why? Well, because the Army's suicide rate is at the highest level in history, with currently more American soldiers taking their lives than being killed by the Taliban. And the research grant came right after the Army lost 38 of its soldiers to speculated suicide in July, setting a record high as the Army confirmed 66 active duty suicides and investigating 50 more, with a total of 116 cases. And the Pentagon reported in June that suicides among soldiers averaged one per day this year, again surpassing the rate of combat fatalities. Clearly this problem needs an immediate solution, hence the naturally occurring neurochemical thyrotropin releasing hormone, TRH, that could slow the rising suicide rate. With its euphoric, calming antidepressant effect that has been shown to decrease suicidal ideas, depression, and bipolar disorder. Now, normally doctors transmit TRH through injections in the spinal cord, not exactly the easiest way to distribute happy juice. So the DOD has granted Dr. Michael Kubik and his team three million bucks to produce a nasal spray. They've been given three years to research the safety and efficiency of the new medication. In the meantime, it's clear that there is a problem that needs to be addressed. One of the major concerns about having this drug issue is, will it be acting as a band-aid to cover up the bigger, more prominent issues? Should we be working on calming suicidal thoughts or should that money be going towards preventing those thoughts in the first place? Should we be working on decreasing the length of rotations for deployment that's giving service members from all military branches higher incidences of physical health problems, mental health problems, and performance issues? We need to anticipate the needs of active duty and veteran service members to ensure quality and timely care of these service members. Currently, the DOD is committed to hiring more than 1,600 mental health professionals this year and has hired more than 4,000 over the past four years, a much, much needed boost. Because the primary focus should always be providing quality and proper care for the men and women risking their lives and their health every day to protect our freedoms. And while this inhaling drug is going through copious tests, the prospect of the drugs aren't only positive just for the military, but also for civilians. With suicide being the fourth leading cause of death for adults between the ages of 18 to 65, lives could be saved every day with this. So guys, do you think that this is a proper solution for this problem? Let us know in the comment section down below. Please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already and click the annotation to go to sourcefed.com and see the five stories of the day and every story we've ever done ever. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Lee Newton. And we here at SourceFed would like to give a wholehearted thank you to the armed forces. We love you guys. Yeah. Is that how you do it? Really?